it is definitely sobering to look at all those uh, wind estimates. Thank it you, is. Chris. The weather, of course, can have a major impact on our power, and that's one of the major things that we're going to be watching over the next 24 to 48 hours and beyond. Sandra Diggs Miller is the vice president of Entergy Customer Service, and she's joining us now by, uh, via Zoom. Thanks so much for being with us. I know a lot of people are nervous, especially those who have decided to shelter in place about what they're going to see. Um, as this storm moves through any estimates, <laughs> I mean, I know there's no way to tell until the thing actually hits. That's right. Um, Kathy, every storm is different. And so um, the impacts could be different um, based on the track, the way it moves in, the angle, which it, the angle in which it moves in. And so, you know, we do look at historical analysis as to how long outages may be uh, once the storm comes through. For category four, we're looking at about three weeks. Category two, looking at about two weeks or so that we could have outages in the hardest hit areas. And I think we heard um, the weather forecast earlier talking about that clear path. And so those who live in that clear path of the hardest hit areas could expect to have some extended outages. And we want them to prepare, especially if they decide to shelter in place. Is that what you all are hearing as well? And, and you know, of course, pre-positioning assets based on that. What, what are you guys hearing? Yeah. So you know, we are hearing that the storm is coming in um, as a danger storm, particularly Cat 3, Cat 4. And so what we do is we pay attention to historical storms and we make sure that we uh, position our equipment. Uh, we make sure that we have sufficient equipment in place. And we also start galvanizing our crews to make sure we have enough resources to support um, our restoration effort. Right now, we are in the process of galvanizing a team of 16,000 strong um, to come into the state with the storm. It's a major storm. And so we're going to make sure that we have the resources to uh, restore power as quickly and as, as, safe, as, I mean, as safe and as quickly as we can. Talk about what that galvanizing effort looks like. I mean, are people waiting in Mississippi? Do you all have people past Baton Rouge? I mean, obviously Baton Rouge is looking at uh, a direct hit as well from this storm potentially. So it's a very good point. You know, we have to pay attention to that storm track and that's where we will closely um, locate our crews. Um, we want to get them out of harm's way you know, before the storm passes. And then, so yes, as the storm is coming in through uh, the Homa and the Terrebonne area on up through the Baton Rouge, we'll make sure we have crews that are uh, within, um, you know, mon site of those areas to get there as quick as possible to do damage assessment first, and then begin the process of restoration, beginning with our critical infrastructure and critical customers first. Do you all have so, a more yeah. difficult job because of the power infrastructure in New Orleans than say Entergy Louisiana and Metairie and Jefferson Parish? Is it more difficult for you all to get in there and get things restored? Well, I will say that you know, each area has its challenges. Let's just say that, um, you know, maybe in some of the more rural spread out areas, we may be able to get to things a little bit quicker, but we also have vegetation issues that we're going to have to deal with in those areas. Uh, to your point, in the metropolitan area where we're kind of more tightly packed and we have uh, facilities, maybe in customers' rear yards, you know, we have to use, you know, different types of machines, special machines to make sure that we can get to that equipment. And to your point, um, when we are in this metropolitan type area and we have severe flooding, you know, that also impacts our ability to be able to restore power. Um, and so we have to use special equipment. We have high water vehicles, we have rear alley machines, and we have marsh buggies, and you know, we're going to use drones and, and helicopters to help us to, you know, to determine the damage and then to help us restore power. What is the best way for people to find out quickly whether their power goes out and when their power is expected to be restored? So we need everyone um, to really go in, download our app, sign up to get those text alerts. They can register to get those text alerts and messages about outages by going to, um, they can text REG 
capital REG to 36778. And that will allow them to get information. They should go online and uh, pay attention to what we're posting there as well. They will get information about outages and we're gonna make sure we're keeping the public up to date. We um, will have information on our view outage map as well. Um, customers can go to our Entergy Storm Center to make sure they're getting information about not only um, about what we're doing as a company, but how to prepare for a storm, especially since they're staying um, locally. And one point I wanna add, Katie, is to make sure the customers are being generator safe. They can go to our website to get information about the proper use of a generator, but more importantly, they need to be working with a licensed electrician to properly um, you know, make sure that they're hooking up or the generator to their house. And any caution about that, you know, we've heard the governor say over and over again that some of the greatest numbers of deaths that we see after storms like we're expecting with Hurricane Ida is that people end up dying from carbon monoxide poisoning related to those generators. So any tips for people on those for those who have those portable generators? That's right. You, they need to make sure they're educating themselves, reading that that manufacturer's instructions, and making sure it's well ventilated. Um, you know where they're having those uh, those generators, and and don't bring them inside. I mean that's not safe at all. Um, but to your point, you know there's a lot of um, you know the carbon monoxide that could get into the air, and so just anything. We we don't want them hooking the generator up directly um, to their their wiring to their house, or you know not definitely not to our system at all. And so it's very important that customers get a professional person to assist them with that. And also to your point, another safety tip I wanna to give to customers is that staying away from power lines um, after a storm passes, some of the most dangerous time um, for, for um, our customers to stay away from anything they see, any debris. Uh, they could have vegetation down, but not realize there's a line running through that vegetation. And so let us get out and do our job. Let us work with the, the local parks and parkways for the various parishes to help clear the vegetation so that we can restore power. If they see something down, tell them all 100 entities because we want to know. Um, but please stay away, very important for their safety. I think we actually had a man die uptown New Orleans after Hurricane Zeta for that very reason, because he was trying to clear some vegetation from his yard and didn't realize there was a power line in there. So number one, people should know where the power lines are for after the storm. And two, if you have any question, call Entergy, 1-800-ENTERGY. Um, how many customers does Entergy New Orleans have? Entergy New Orleans has about 200,000 customers um, and also we have electric and gas in the city of New Orleans. Um, Baton Rouge also has electric and gas and that's another point we have not spoken about is that we're talking about you know a, a lot of rain potentially flooding in this area and we do have gas lines and we want customers to let us know if they smell natural gas um, at all. You know anything that, that might alert them that they need to call the utility company to come check out call us first. Stay away, don't go near it, call us. Okay, thank you so much. That's Sandra Diggs Miller with the Vice, Pre Vice President of Entergy New Orleans. Can't thank you enough for your time, and I'm sure we're going to be talking to you uh, more in the next couple of days. Again, as she just mentioned, if you want updates on your power in your house, in your neighborhood, all you have to do is text REG to 36778.